Next, the autocalculation. I think uh, this is very familiar with you guys. The autocalculation okay, is a conservation is due to the reactions of bacteria and naturally occurring sugar and carbohydrate in the serum resulting in formation of fatty acids. Okay, as we know, the dry rubber contents is coated with lipid and protein. And this lipid and protein is negatively charged. Because of the thin layers of the protein is negatively charged, whenever it contact with other uh, dry rubber content, it will repel to each other. But, however, the negatively charged uh, effectivity will diminish by time. It will become uh, less and less effective to repel to each other and eventually it will uh, promote uh, microbes to attack the protein and release the carbon dioxide and promote the uh, formation of acid which is the fatty acid formation and eventually the latex will be coagulated and this process will uh, yield the products such as the cup lump, the tree leaf, bugs and ground scrap and polybag rubber are example of autocoagulated rubber. Some of industry did use and purposely uh, purchase the autocoagulated rubber and especially for uh, dry rubber industry. Next, uh, the fourth process uh, which is the continu uh, continuous coagulation. This experiment uh, has been conducted by RRIM, the Rubber Research Industry. Uh, Rubber Research Institute of Malaysia have shown that mixture of dioxide sulfocyanates, uh, which, which is the AOT of 0.2% weight over weight on the RC and additional of calcium chloride of 0.3% weight over weight on the RC if added to latex at pH of 6 to 7 result in instantaneous coagulation. So, Coagulation was carried out on conveyor belts onto one of the end, uh, onto one end of the latex of the coagulant were emitted and the coagulants removed from the other end. So in uh, I, okay, I would like to explain about this. By additional of this chemical uh, in the latex system, and you put the latex on the conveyor belt at one end. As the conveyor belt uh, transfers your latex to the other end, it will eventually decoagulate. Okay, that is the process of continuous coagulation. But you need to specifically use the uh, chemical that been uh, proposed by the RRIM. The aims of the method is uh, to eliminate the usage of coagulation tanks and process the coagulant immediately after the coagulation. So. Uh, if uh, we take a look on the latex additions of uh, uh, previous process, you need to have the coagulation tank. In this coagulation tank, you pour your acetic acids, okay, so that uh, you promote the coagulation in the coagulation tank. However, for the uh, continuous coagulation, you did not use the coagulation tank, but you immediate, after you immediately uh, pour your chemical for continuous coagulation, and you transport uh, via the conveyor belt and eventually it will coagulate it and can be processed immediately. And however, this method cannot be used if the latex pH is above 7. This is the critical condition that been uh, established by RRIM and it requires uh, latex pH which is below 7. So you need to control the pH so that it's not above 7. Okay. The final process, which is the heat gelation, the latex is coagulated by raising its temperature to 80 degrees Celsius in the heated screw and conveyor. Okay, this heat gelation is not uh, vastly being used in industry because it is still under development, but it shows that at 80 degrees Celsius, the latex start to coagulate. How did it actually happen? Because at this temperature, it start to uh, eliminate. Uh, huge amounts of water in latex and the latex start to uh, become high viscous or we call gel gelation and eventually it might promote a coagulation process. Finally, before we end off the chapter, I will, co I will cover the, uh, 
the acid required for coagulation. How the process uh, you to calculate the, 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 the latex and uh, the procedure that we use. Okay, the latex is sieve and bark followed by additions of chemical. Okay, a sample is taken amounts of ferment acid required for coagulation is then determined by titration of 100 gram of latex with standardized of 1% of formic acid which is prepared by diluting of 100 gram of commercial formic acid to 1 liter until the pH reach to 5 to 5.2. So, at erti kata lain, awak ambil latex 100 gram, awak titratekan dengan 1% of formic acid dan gunakan pH meter, awak akan measure uh, sampai titration itu mencecah kepada pH 5 hingga 5.2, awak akan stop. Dan, volume jumlah asid si awak guna itu akan digunakan dalam formulation ini. Okay. The amount of coagulant is given by okay, the amount of commercial uh, acid forming acid equal to mass of latex which is uh, the box latex uh, in your tank times the amount of standardized that previously, uh, previously you used the titration process of 1% of forming acid uh, to reach the uh, pH 5.2 and divided by 10,000 and you will have the total amounts of uh, formic acid required for uh, calculations of the latex. That's all from uh, this chapter. Okay, uh, but uh, do not worry because the calculation process and the uh, calculations of uh, acid required for calculation will be covered by next semester, which is PSP 2 to 1, as I mentioned uh, uh, before. Uh, because the PSP 2 to 1, we will conduct a uh, lab and you will repeatedly uh, calculate the amounts of acid required. And hopefully by doing that, you will be more competent on calculation of latex. And then the amounts of uh, acid is then added to the acid tank and the levels of acid and latex are, the, are then equalized after which the latex and acid valves are fully open simultaneously. And after discharge the tank, pipes and valves should be cleaned thoroughly. That's all for chapter five. I hope uh, by uh, this video will help you on studies your uh, chapter five. And if you have any question on uh, chapter five, you can always text me or, or you can always call me. And uh, by doing so, uh, you can cover this chapter and you can do your uh, partial question and hopefully uh, I can do uh, online test by coming weeks and that's all from me and uh, that's all from my pets proceed bye see ya